So you might be trying to figure out how you can set up your eSIM, aka your electronic SIM card, on your iPhone. Now this is specifically for the 16 Pros or iPhone 16, but this will work on basically any iPhone out there. The big thing to keep in mind is that you can do this natively through your setup. If you're transferring your iPhone from a different iPhone already, and if it supports eSIM, you should be able to go and basically convert it over to an you know, eSIM, even if it's a physical SIM, over to your new iPhone without having to go through and call your network provider. But there is a chance where that might not work. So make sure you just have your contact, you know, your your contact for your you know cell provider natively. So you can just call them, and then if you have any issues, you can just call them and figure it out from there. So what you're going to want to do is if you have already set up your iPhone, you can make your way over to your settings application right here. You can scroll down until you see cellular, which is right here, and you can click on this option that says set up cellular. So tap on set up cellular right here. And it's going to go ahead and then allow you to basically start setting up your cell phone provider and your cell phone carrier. So this is something that's very basic. So all you're really going to have to do here is go ahead and click on either transfer from nearby iPhone or use QR code. So you can kind of go down either way and choose whichever option that you want to here because there's a few different options that you have. So if I were you, if you want to go and deal with it, you can go and click on use QR code. And if your you know, cell phone carrier is already giving you your you know, QR code to scan it, this is where you basically scan it from. So go into this area, scan your QR code, and that's where you can start off with, or you can enter your details manually if you have this information. Now, if you don't have this, or if you don't have any of this information, you can also transfer it from your nearby iPhone if you have it already available around you. So that is something else that you have right here too, which is a really cool thing. So that's basically how it's done, that's how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.